Renton says that the arc is rigged with 20,000 volts. Let's see what he does. Okay. Don't, don't touch it. It's rigged with 20,000 volts. What is it? The arc. The arc. Arcing recursive quantum. 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 That's what they're after. <laughs> okay, first of all, he says don't, don't touch it. So is he telling her to touch it? Okay, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he, that's fine. <laughs> okay. And then he does this thing where he like he taps his screwdriver yep. against the arc and then pulls it away and he gets yep. this electrical arc of this yep. length. And so my question yep. was, or is, is is that a reasonable arc length for 20,000 volts? Okay. So let's do a calculation. Okay. So the question is, is it a reasonable arc length for 20,000 volts? So first question is, what's the length of the arc? And yeah. I got two fists and the way I did this, actually I put a picture on the left, perfect, yeah, yeah. So I drew an arrow, the first arrow, the right arrow from the tip of the screwdriver to where the electric arc is touching the machine. Yep. And then, and I drew a little midway mark there. I, I, I drew it, yep. I, don't know, I did it. Okay, when I translated those arrows to the left, it actually ended up being about the size of his fist. And so okay. given where it is on his fist, that's like the thumb side of the wrist to the okay. pinky knuckle. Okay. And so it, to be clear, not from the pinky side to the knuck, the front index side because that's a longer length. Okay, and then I got I got a measuring tape, a measuring tape, and I measured from the wrist thumb side to the pinky. Yep. And for me, I got about ten centimeters. So this this first uh, segment is ten centimeters, and then two of them is about twenty centimeters. Twenty centimeters. Okay. So if we come back here, then the two times fists estimate length of the arc is about 20 centimeters that makes sense to me yep. so that would mean the next thing we have to know is the breakdown voltage of air that's right because the air is no longer functioning as a resistor the atoms have broken down i guess the molecules the molecules have broken down you strip away the electrons you strip away the from the, the ions and you get the electric arc so in air that is 30,000 volts oh sorry 30, yeah thirty thousand volts per centimeter or 30 kilovolts per centimeter however you want to think yep. of it okay which means if we have an arc of 20 centimeters and we need this much voltage per centimeter, multiply those two numbers together, we get 600 kilovolts. So this arc from Renton's screwdriver to the machine should have been 600,000 kilovolts, much more than the 20 kilovolts um, mm -hmm. that he quoted. In fact, 20 kilovolts would be less than a centimeter. So a real, real mm -hmm. tiny arc. Real tiny, yeah. However, he, this isn't a spark that he doesn't hold the screwdriver here. And then the spark spontaneously forms through the air. That's true. He taps it and then pulls it away. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, let's, so, let's watch, the, watch the footage of that real quick. Sure. It's rigged with 20,000 volts. Tap. What is okay. okay. So I also saw that. I also saw that and I prepared some pictures. So okay. the first picture, let's go to the right. First picture is that hand I got closer than, than yep. 20 centimeters. So clearly right. it's not... Like she should have arced already at this distance. So clearly yeah. it's not at 600,000 kilovolts and even 20,000 mm -hmm. kilovolts, maybe, maybe, maybe not. And right. he does this, he does this, sh this like strike. strike he does like, a, he does like a scratch. He like takes his screwdriver and he like scratches the arc, uh, the ARQ arc. And so this reminded me of stick welding. And okay. so stick with welding, you have, you have your workpiece, you have an electrode that you put at like negative, I don't know, maybe 300 volts could be could be more or less depending on what type of welding you want to do and you bring the stick in and then you just do little little scratches little scratches on the surface to create that electrical conductivity and then once you start that weld going then you pull off a little bit and then you're now like melting your stick into into the metal and so okay. when you do that with arc welding in particular stick welding um, you can actually pull pull the electrode fairly far off the surface and you see this really bright glowing glowing i guess plasma and so there the but but i guess the question the question there is why didn't we start a spark when you're above the surface you really have to come down and scratch the surface you like touch the surface to start that arc and so what i think is happening is is once you start the 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 arc start the the weld puddle then you can pull away your electrode a bit and you're you'll be streaming you'll be streaming metal ions from your stick and down to the work surface. And so in that case, you don't need 30,000 volts per centimeter anymore because you've now replaced the, 
the non-ionized air with the electrons bound to the molecules, you replace that with an ionized plasma with electrons mm -hmm. and metal ions, like literally streaming from your stick down to your workpiece. And so it's okay. It's maybe, maybe, maybe this is okay right. that that this arc is much longer than we predicted um, because he's changing the composition of the gas with little bits of screwdriver <laughs> down to the mm -hmm. arc machine. So I think this is consistent with like the weather. So if a lightning bolt, so there's a, I've seen footage where like a lightning bolt, it takes a long, a lot of voltage to get a lightning bolt to touch. But then okay. once the lightning bolt is established, there'll be multiple flashes up and down the lightning bolt on the pre-existing path. So you're talking so about I one think, of these scenarios where it's like it's like nighttime, nighttime, and mm -hmm. then and then you see you see like one lightning strike, it's all crash, and then yeah. very shortly after you're pew, 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 like a bunch more around the same area, right? Around, uh, okay. I think it's actually down the same path. It'll oh, be really? like down and up and down, yeah. And it's like the the voltage required to establish the path is like millions, but then I think the voltage required to follow the path that's pre-established with all the ionized air is much less uh, I think. because because yeah you've reduced the breakdown voltage because you've replaced yeah. the neutral air with this ionized plasma mm -hmm. which just gives an easy path for electrons to flow that's right so I, d I didn't know the welding part but that's consistent with you create an ionized path for the electricity to flow and so your breakdown voltage is much reduced mm -hmm. compared to air which has no ions essentially because it's what essentially nitrogen and oxygen, and those are pretty stable molecules they hold on to that their electrons. have. They hold on their electrons pretty yeah. easily. I mean, pretty strongly. So it's very difficult to ionize. But once it's ionized, plenty of the breakdown voltage is much less. So I think this is all consistent. The fact that yeah. he sparks it and then pulls yeah. away, and then the the spark is intermittent, meaning. It disappears it turns right off. away. It turns off once it gets far far enough away. Yeah. yeah, which I guess is exhausting the ions I've, that are a combination of in the air and from the metal in the screwdriver. I like it. Sure. That's a cool. That's a good that's, detail, right? That's a great right. detail. Yeah, that's a cool detail.